Telegram is widely used by Russian military forces for battlefield communication due to issues with deploying their secure communication system. For Russia, it also serves as a tool for recruiting saboteurs and spreading propaganda, reports Politico. They practically detained the head of communication of the Russian army, reads a Telegram message from one of the Russian military bloggers as cited by the publication. Another blogger noted that Russian experts are working on an alternative to Telegram, but the main communications directorate of the Russian army has shown no real interest in equipping the Russian troops with such a system. Russians do everything via Telegram. They are recruiting agents and people for counter activities. Today in Ukraine, a popular campaign is to recruit people who would burn Ukrainian military cars. And it is quite successful. They coordinate their military efforts using it. Nazar Tokar, head of Kremlin Gram, an investigative group of activists studying Telegram's security and its potential ties to the Kremlin, told Politico. While the Kremlin has restricted most other social media platforms, Telegram has not been banned or restricted, Tokar said. This is because Durov, according to his statements, fled Russia in 2014 after the Kremlin demanded access to data from his previous social network, Vcontact, about Ukrainian pre-democracy protesters involved in the 2014 revolution. According to Tokar, Telegram is much more important to Russia than to Ukraine. I think that the Russians are panicking because they are trying to predict possible outcomes for their essential communications tool and are trying to protect themselves and remove information from there. But everything will depend on the French government and the courts, whether they will imprison Durov or come to an agreement and release him, and he in turn will provide them with some information. We do not know yet, he said. Durov was detained at Le Bourget Airport in the Paris suburbs on the evening of August the 24th. He is accused of terrorism, drug trafficking, fraud, money laundering, selling stolen goods and sexual crimes against children, as well as failing to moderate the service and cooperate with the investigation. Durov could face up to 20 years in prison. Telegram has denied the allegations, stating that the company operates within the legal framework of the EU. Poland said on Monday that a drone entered its airspace early on August 26 during a Russian bombardment of neighboring Ukraine. According to Ukrainian media reports, the drone crossed the border of Poland in the direction of the Chervonograd region of Ukraine and disappeared from the radars near the city of Tyshovs after flying 25 kilometers deep into Poland's territory. The Polish military command sent fighter jets and helicopters in the direction where the drone was intercepted. However, they were unable to find the UAV. The object disappeared from the radars around 25 kilometers deep into Polish territory, General Maciej Klisch, operational commander of the armed forces, said in a televised speech. Klisch added that the flying object most likely is an unmanned aerial vehicle from Russia. The Polish army has started a search operation for an unmanned flying object in the country's territory.